What's happening, Polge Pals? Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having an amazing day out there. Now, I have only opened three Celebrations products, and I've completed over 50% of the set. So I grabbed another Elite Trainer Box and two of the Mini Tins here. We're gonna open these up, see how close we can get to 100% completion on this set. Now, the channel is on the road to 10K, so if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a sub, and let's put some cards in this binder. All right, let's start out with the mini tins because I haven't opened any of these yet. Now, the main cards that we want to pull today would be the shiny gold Mew, the Umbreon Star, and the Charizard base set reprint. Very cool Pikachu coin, although it looks like I got a little damaged one there. A little damage in the center of that one. It's okay gonna get a little character card here when you combine all eight of these mini tins it makes a really really cool image I'm definitely gonna be saving all of those for that two packs of celebrations and one pack of darkness ablaze and it is darkness ablaze in every mini tin let's start out with the darkness ablaze build the hype up a little bit for celebrations here now darkness ablaze main card that you want to hit oops in this set would be the Charizard V Max but I'd be pretty happy with a Butterfree VMAX or Rainbow Rare Butterfree. Here we go, upside down cards, Lucky Leaf, we're off to a great start. Toxapex, Parasect, Hiding Energy, Skarmory, Gothita, per Paris, Mareep, Ducklet, Spinarak for our reverse, and a Hollow Blaziken for our first rare. All right, first two Celebrations packs from the Mini Tin now. Oh, that one actually opened really easily. I feel like I'm gonna bend these every time I try to open these little four card packs. No card trick on these ones. Ooh, Pokey Shake, let's shake it out. We got the Celebrations Shake here. Cosmo, Zekrom, and Ho-Oh, and a Professor's Research for our first pack. Here we go, now it is the second to last card. That would be the Secret Set. Let's see, here we go. We got Grodon. Why is the Poke Shake so bad today? Ho oh. Here comes Team Rocket. We got our first hit from the secret set, and it is one that we needed to add to the binder. What's hiding behind him? Solgaleo. Oh, with like a weird, weird like double print or something. Look at that. It's all like uh, kind of splotchy on there. That's weird. And there's a code for you. All right, let's drop our. Here comes Team Rocket into a sleeve. Bam. First card from the secret set added to the binder today. Will we see that Shining Gold Mew or that Charizard? Here we go. These ones, there we go. There's no little like, uh, kind of like pre-ripped little part on these tins on the plastic. Here we go. Can we get an undamaged Pikachu coin? We can. Very cool. I really like the kind of hollow pattern on that. If you look at it, it's actually pretty similar to the hollow pattern that was on the original base set hollows, which is really, really awesome. Two more packs of Celebrations and a Scentus Scorch Darkness Ablaze pack art. Let's see if we can find a Charizard in this one. I've been noticing that the Darkness Ablaze packs have a lot of errors in them where you can uh, like pull a hollow from a green code or not pull a hollow from a white code. Here we go. Larion, Simiseer, Rose Tower, Rowlet, Centrit, Galarian Darmaka, Grimer reaching out, Larvitar, Vanellix for our reverse, and a hollow Kangaskhan. There we go. So it just happened. Darkness of Blaze, green code card, and we've got a hollow inside. Very cool artwork on that hollow Kangaskhan, too. All right, let's get into the celebrations. How has your celebrations journey been so far? I've been seeing photos of like huge stocked targets and stuff like that. I hope that that's the case for everyone out there. We got the Mewtwo EX second mini tin and we are adding to the secret set. Very, very awesome Mewtwo EX. What are you hiding? A Mew. How fitting is that? Here's the code for you. Let's get this Mewtwo EX into a sleeve. You know, at first I was kind of disappointed by the McDonald's hollow pattern on these, but on these EX cards and stuff, I think they actually look really, really cool. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Bam. And we've got one pack left 
from this first mini tin. And then we'll get into another elite trainer box. Here we go. You know what they say, it's always it's always the mini tins, it seems like, that have had some of the best tins. Grodon, Xerneas, we got Kyogre, and a full art Pikachu. I never get tired of pulling that card, and there is the code. Let's drop the Pikachu full art into a sleeve, bam. Maybe I'm just pokey shaking still from getting out of the woods. If you guys saw my last video, I uh, had a lot of fun running around the woods, shooting a little spooky Halloween video. Um, oh, also very sad news. Lucky Charizard pin is still missing. I have like cleaned every inch of this studio. I'm starting to think one of my friends is playing a prank on me or something, but we just got Sylveon pin today for this ETB. Hopefully Sylveon brings the luck. But like I was saying, um, filming that out there in the woods, my uh, brother and sister and my best friend and I filmed it and halfway through the opening, when you see me start to look around, we really were uh, like hearing people talking and there shouldn't have been anyone around out there for a, like quite a ways. We heard talking, we heard dogs barking at one point and we heard a truck, but we couldn't find any evidence of a truck. So if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll shoot you a link in the description of this video. Check out my Halloween video that I just posted. It was a lot of fun. All right, typical contents of your ETB, sleeves, uh, damage counters, condition markers. The difference in this one is that you are going to get a Greninja Gold Star. Now this isn't a reprint. It's one of the like, I guess, tribute cards you could call them that they did. They also did a light Toxtricity. Very cool. And the dark Sylveon V. Greninja Gold Star. Is it just me or is the color like a little faded on this one? I'm going to have to compare it to my other one. Very miscut Greninja Gold Star. Very cool. Nonetheless, we'll set you aside and you're going to get 10 packs of evolutions and five packs of regular cards. Let's just make sure that they gave us 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. No error ETB today. Set these right here. Let's get through these regular packs with the quickness and see what's in the celebrations. Can we go another Darkness of Blaze error pack with a green green code that has a hollow in it? Four to the front. I'm always trying to hold like the Darkness of Blaze code cards. I swear they keep putting them in different ways. Fire Energy. We got Pierce, Vanilla, Shinotic, Starly, Skarmory, Pan Sage, Electric, Fletchling. Spike Mew for our reverse and a Hound Doom V for our rare out of the darkness ablaze pack from the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. We'll drop the Hound Doom V in a sleeve. Now, I thought that I would have pretty much no pulls out of all of the extra cards that they're including in Celebrations. Bam, code. But I've actually had some pretty decent ones. Here we go. Four to the front again for Darkness Ablaze. Psychic Energy, Cape of Toughness, the Brava. Semiseer, Cufant, Sinistee, Phoebus, Pessimian, Fletchling again, Bird Keeper for the reverse and a non hollow Melmetal. It looks like we got a legit pack there, green code with a non hollow inside. Vivid Voltage, still looking to pull any of those Pikachu alt, or not alt art, Pikachu uh, full art V or the Rainbow V Max Pikachu. Here we go. Psychic Energy again. We got Stone Energy, Shuckle, Cramorant, Ferro Seed, Joltic, Sandile, C Dot, Peck Peck. We got Yanma for our reverse and Zarud V in the Zarud pack. How about that? Very cool. Do you guys remember that time uh, I opened like five? just loose vivid voltage sleeves and pulled like three Zarudes back to back. That was insane. Here we go. Chilling Rain. And then we've got a Battle Styles. What am I looking for from Chilling Rain? I think it would be that Shadow Rider V alternate art or the Blaziken V. What am I doing? Getting very confused. Here we go. Code. All I can think about is celebrations for the front. Water Energy. Here we go. Welcoming Lantern, Clara, Brawly, Bound Sweet, Venipede, Lapras, Blitzel, 
AA run. Crushing gloves for the reverse and a non hollow Walreen for our rare. That leaves just battle styles for the regular packs out of the Celebrations ETB. Can we go one more regular pull? Bam, code before we get into the celebrations, but that's really where I would like to see some pulls today. It's okay if there's nothing in these regular packs. Fire Energy, Swordward and Shieldbird, Vero, Carnivine, Sizzlepee, Baltoy, Timber, Cacnea, we've got Corpish, Durant for our reverse, and non hollow Jellicent for our rare. Okay, 10 packs of celebrations. I really enjoy how all of the pack art is the same. Uh, I kind of get hung up sometimes when people say like, oh, you know, this is the best pack artwork to pull this or pull that. And then I worry like, oh, did I buy a box that has all the wrong pack artwork, even though it doesn't work like that at all. Here we go. Ho-oh, Grodon. Garchomp C level X. I think this is the coolest card that I pulled out of here from the first opening. Definitely not upset to be doubling up on the Garchomp C and a Mew. Here's the code for you. Let's get our very uh, off center sort of looking Garchomp here into a sleeve. That's the other really fun thing about celebrations is you just get so many pulls. I've never had to use this many sleeves before in one video. Here we go. Second pack. Kind of wish the set was a little bigger. Groudon, Cosmo, Shining Magic Carp. There we go. This is one that I really, really wanted to pull. What's hiding behind Shining Magic Carp? Another Hollow Mew. There is the code. Shining Magic Carp reprint. Very, very cool. Let's drop you into a sleeve. We are adding quite a few to the binder today getting closer to 100% on that secret set. Let's get these cards out of the way. We got a bunch of packs here. Now I'm still waiting for, as probably a lot of other people are, my GameStop pre-orders for Celebration. I've got a pin box. Oh, Xerneas, I don't think I've pulled that one yet. And a Kyogre and a Solgaleo. Yeah, see, look at that first Solgaleo we pulled. I don't know, it was like double print or something. That was really crazy. Uh, I am waiting for the, let's see, the special pin box from GameStop, some more mini pin, uh, pins. So I'll definitely be opening up that Zacian pin box, but I am the most excited for that Pikachu VMAX figure to come out at the end of this month. Here we go, Lugia. Reshiram, Venusaur again with a pull from the secret set. There we go. Are you hiding a shiny Mew? A Zamazenta V, very, very cool. And here is the code. Let's get our Zamazenta and Venusaur into the sleeve. Will the Charizard reprint make an appearance today? I really love this Venusaur though. Let's drop this into a sleeve. I think the texture on them is really, really neat. It's not just, you know, it's not just a reprint with a little different hollow throw on the back. It's, you know, the whole card feels different. Here we go. Dialga, Cosmog, Cosmog, and Surfing Pikachu V Max. I still need to hit that Flying Pikachu V Max and a code for you. Let's drop the Surfing Pikachu into a sleeve. I'm gonna have to grab some more sleeves. Bam. Never get tired of pulling those full art Pikachus. Here we go. I think I'm getting a little better at opening these too. I don't feel like I'm bending the cards as much. All right, Zekrom, Dialga. We got Yvettel, very sweet. And Lunala, there we go. Needed to add that one to the binder. Code card for you. Very curious how far we will get at the end of this completion wise. Here we go. Dialga, Kyogre, Dawn Fan. There we go. Adding this one to the binder for the secret set. What is Dawn Fan hiding? Flying Pikachu V. I'm pretty sure. Did I need the Flying Pikachu V? I think I did for the binder. We're going to have to check. Let's drop Dawn Fan into a sleeve. Bam. And Flying Pikachu V into a sleeve. All right, we got a few packs left. Three packs left from the Celebrations ETB. 
I feel like for the first time, the ETBs have some fire in them for me. Here we go. Cosmog, Reshiram, Xerneas, and a Mew. Very nice code for you. Two packs left, two chances left to hit that shining Mew. The Umbreon Star or the Charizard reprint. We've got Yvettel, Xerneas, Ho oh, oh, I saw the red and thought it was the Zard and Professor's Research Code. All right, last pack magic. It all comes down to this one. Here we go. Very gently. Oh, look how, yeah, look at this. I'm a pro now. I'm a pro at opening four card packs. Here we go. Oh, Cosmoem. Dialga. Oh, and a Cosmog. No secret set today. Can we still pull the Shiny Mew? Oh, another Hollow Solgaleo. But this set is such a blast. And we did pull a lot of cards today. So let's see what we added to the binder. All right, it looks like we got to 65% complete for the entire set. I love opening celebrations. Can't wait to open some more next week. So as always, Polch Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos.